What's up everybody? James Keller with Keller Outdoors. I'm sitting here, uh, just got the boat back from uh, having lower unit resealed and some uh, bushings done on the tilt and trim. And I'm putting some of my stuff back in the boat because I take it all out when I, when I uh, take them to have, take a boat to have repairs done or anything like that. And I take a lot of the stuff out. Um, <clears throat> I wanted to, um, we're gonna do like an opening of something here. And um, I wanted, to, it's something new um, on the market. And um, as you will see in the uh, title of the video is the Jackhammer Stealth Blade. As you can see that right there. Um, you know, a lot of chatterbaits <clears throat> have just your normal metal blade. They're either usually painted or some are silver, some are gold. Um, and some are painted like this to match either the uh, color of the, the, the bait or whatever, but um, Jackhammer came out with one where the blade is clear, just plastic. So I'm going to open and we're going to take a look at this together and I'm going to give you my thoughts on it. Um, I guess my first thought on any Jackhammer is, wow, uh, as far as wholly expensive which all baits anymore are getting to be super expensive and it's getting to be, be quite the thing. So, um, now I know they use better components, things of that such, better skirting, all that. Uh, but you know, $16 baits is, is getting pretty ridiculous. Um, especially when you're on the river and it only takes one Northern to, uh, to clean that out for you. So, um, but let's, we'll take in, uh, that's it right there. We'll take in open it here because I'm, I'm filling my box up I got right here you probably can't see out of the picture here but I'm getting rid of some old baits or stuff that's um, stuff that is you know, just old or um, even rusty um, like humidity will um, get to your baits that way Boy, you can make this get your money's worth just getting it out of the package so here it is. So if you'll notice, that blade is clear. Um, this is a 3 8 ounce version. Um, and they call it stealth too. So the skirt, there's not a lot of, not a lot of skirting there. Um, so that might be part of the stealth. I also noticed opening it, the double, uh, double hook keeper, one in the top and on the bottom. I'm not a huge fan of these kind of hook keepers because I feel like as you put the plastic on and that tears the plastic. So. I don't know how well it holds it. Um, generally, when I put a uh, any trailer on, even with that keeper, I put just a little dab of glue right there when I slide that on, so I get a little extra hold. Um, but it looks nice. Um, you know, good good hook on it. Obviously, there's a keeper there over the point of the hook, which I'm going to leave on until I get ready to use them. But uh, paint job looks real good. Um, they even put the um, if you can see that right there, the weight on the bottom of the head. Um, I did notice that, um, you know, this is a Thunder Cricket here. When you look at the difference in the size of blade, so I wonder, um, you know, I, I wonder if that's going to put out a lot of thump or not, or will it be a lot less thump, or because it's a hard plastic blade, will it, um, will it vibrate as much? I don't know, or maybe less, and maybe that's a good thing, um, especially on the days where it's a little tougher and everybody's throwing the same doing the same uh, same chatterbait so um, this is it yeah so this is the uh, the the jackhammer stealth blade um, by Brett Height and Marizo um, I'm guessing they're the two that designed it this is just a green pumpkin which is a pretty good color um, when you're doing these it's either green pumpkin black or white for me I have one chartreuse but eh. um, Black usually does the trick on the on the river or any dirty water, and um, and white if you're imitating bait fish and and green pumpkin on you know a little cleaner water if it's not super dirty. Um, so we'll see what how this performs in the spring. I'll be using this quite a bit. Um, um, like I said, I will say the price is ridiculous. I don't know how to get around that. Um, you know, you can get the cheaper uh, um, chatterbaits, the components aren't as good. Um, the blade, you have to actually pop it a little bit to get the blade working, but they're $4. This is $16. So, um, 
yeah, it's quite a bit of difference in price there, but you know, if these catch me two, three, four more extra fish than a regular one would, you know, in a tournament setting, it would be worth it. I don't think this would be a practice bait as much. Um, yeah, maybe, I guess, but, um, but more of a tournament type bait, if you're gonna lose one, lose it in a tournament, not just out fun fishing, I guess, I don't know, but I'll have to try it out before a tournament, so I'm just talking in circles here, but, um, this is it here, so I wanted to do a quick little unboxing and review of it. Um, it looks great, um, should be good. I just, I wonder how well that that is gonna vibrate. We'll see. Um, I'll probably get out of the water, hopefully maybe next Sunday, um, or if not, um, you know, in the next coming week or two. We just had some snow here and um, cold temperatures up in Wisconsin, so I don't know how soon I'll be getting out again. I've already been out a few times, but, um, yeah, we'll see how this goes. Uh, thanks for watching the channel. Uh, like, subscribe, share. That helps grow the channel, gets uh, this in front of more people. Um, I'll be doing some on the water videos here coming up pretty soon. Um, you know, once things get into full swing, I got a BFL at the end of April, so I'm gonna have to start getting out uh, uh, pretty quick here and start knocking the old rust off. So, um, you know, and, and, and getting ready for that and getting the equipment's all ready to go. Um, Said I had a bunch of work down the motor, unfortunately, on the lower unit, but uh, you know, it is what it is, that's boating. So, uh, thanks for watching and uh, stay tuned for the next video. Thanks.